Pleasure activism is a term popularized by writer and activist Adrienne Marie Brown. It's rooted in the belief that experiencing and prioritizing pleasure is not just a personal act, but also a political one. In a world where many people, especially those from marginalized communities, are taught to deprioritize their own joy and satisfaction, reclaiming pleasure becomes an act of resistance and an act of empowerment. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate Balistrieri. I'm a licensed psychologist, certified sex therapist, and the founder of Modern Intimacy. Today, I'm going to talk about a powerful and transformative concept, pleasure activism. This approach emphasizes the importance of pleasure, joy, and satisfaction as central elements in social justice and personal well-being. So today, we'll explore what pleasure activism is, why it matters, and how you can incorporate it into your life. At its core, pleasure activism invites us to challenge the societal norms that tell us to minimize or ignore our desires and needs. It encourages us to seek out what feels good, nurturing, and fulfilling, not not only in our personal lives, but also, and importantly, in our communities. This includes embracing all forms of pleasure, sexual, emotional, intellectual, and sensory pleasure. So why does pleasure activism matter? Well, it recognizes the interconnectedness of our personal well-being and the broader social justice movement. When people are denied the opportunity to experience pleasure, their overall quality of life diminishes. This is especially true for people in marginalized groups who often face systemic barriers to joy and fulfillment. Pleasure activism challenges the stigma surrounding pleasure, especially sexual pleasure. Many cultures view the pursuit of sexual pleasure as taboo or shameful, and by normalizing and celebrating pleasure, we we can break down these harmful narratives and promote healthier attitudes towards sexuality and self-care. Incorporating pleasure activism into your life can involve several steps. One, self-awareness. You can start by reflecting on what brings you joy and satisfaction. This could be anything from spending time in nature, engaging in creative things, enjoying a really delicious meal, or exploring your sexuality. Pay attention to your body's responses and honor your desires, with consent of course if you're with another person. Number two, Boundaries. Setting and respecting boundaries is crucial in pleasure activism. This means knowing and communicating your own limits, as well as understanding and honoring the boundaries of other people. Boundaries create a safe space for genuine pleasure to really flourish. Number three, community. Pleasure activism is not just about yourself. It's not about the individual experience. It's about fostering joy and satisfaction within communities. Support and uplift the people around you, creating environments where everyone feels safe and encouraged to pursue their own pleasure. Number four, educate yourself and other people, like by forwarding this video, about the importance of pleasure and the way societal structures can inhibit our ability to experience it. This includes dismantling harmful myths and stereotypes about sexuality and pleasure, like the myth that we have to earn the right to have a good time. Number five, mindfulness. Practice being present in the moment and really fully engaging with your experiences. Mindfulness practices can enhance your capacity for pleasure by creating more bandwidth that allows you to savor and appreciate each moment without distraction or judgment. And number six, advocacy. Advocate for policies and practices that really support pleasure and well-being. This can include things like fighting for comprehensive sex education, accessible health care, and inclusive spaces where all people can explore and express their identities. So by embracing pleasure activism, we can create a more just and compassionate world where everyone has the opportunity to experience joy and fulfillment. Remember, prioritizing pleasure is not selfish. It's a vital part of a healthy, balanced life. So thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more insights on sexual health, well-being, and social justice. Take care, and remember to find and celebrate your own sources of pleasure.